Hey guys, uh, welcome to njhrpoint.com video tutorial series. In this video, we will see uh, how we can add content type to a list or library and then how we can change the default content type and the order of the content type in the same list or library. Before proceeding, let me just tell you about uh, something about uh, njhrpoint.com. This is a SharePoint website for a person who are very much interested in SharePoint. So you can get a lot of articles on SharePoint, Office 365, Azure, all these things. So if you want to contribute to njsharepoint.com, make sure you will, uh, 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 you will write your article in Word document and then we'll uh, send it to contact at threat And also subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel, you will get a lot of uh, video updates and also follow us in twitter linkedin and facebook as well so all these uh, useful links will put in the comment section of the video you will get all the useful links over there so coming back to the tutorial let's open our uh, uh, open our sharepoint online site so this is my sharepoint online site i have a custom list known as employee task so i'll see how we can add content type into that so click on the settings icon this is a modern ui uh, then click on list settings no ribbon will be there if you are if you have uh, not gone through modern ui or modern uh, experience that sharepoint online has uh, will uh, also put some of the useful links which you can go through and then uh, in the list settings page click on advanced settings and uh, then allow management of content type to a yes and then click on ok so once you click on OK, now you will get the content type section in the um, list setting page. So let's go back to the list setting page. So you can see here, this is the list settings page. Uh, you can see a link over there, add from existing site content type. Click on that, which will open the content type where you can add, add content type page. So from the group, choose first of all list content types and then these are the various content types are available uh, select the task and then click on add and then click on ok so now the task content type will be added so you can also uh, choose multiple and then you can click on add so now go back to the employee task list now if i'll try to add item i should be, uh, should be able to see the task one as well so let's the new button to appear you can see here i click on new and then you can see item task also are there so leave uh, this link will come uh, you might not see this option in the classic interface classic uh, interface of the list or library but for the new interface this is by default will come so then what will we, what we can do is now we will we'll change the order uh, of uh, this content type i want the task to be in the first and then item will be in the second so go back to the list content type uh, so list settings page again and then go to the content type section here you can see change new button order and default content type click on that and this will open the page where you can change the new button order so you can see here my item is one and then task is the second position i'll make the other way so task will be in the first position and the item will be in the second position by any chance if you want to hide any of the content type from that uh, um, new button then uh, you can uncheck this so it will be hidden so i click i'll click on ok now if i'll go back to the employee tasks list so i should be able to see the task as the default content type you can see here the task is the default content type so hope, uh, hopefully this video will be helpful to you if you want uh, to uh, get update on more videos kindly go and subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of video tutorial updates so keep visiting nhrpoint.com and thanks for watching this video keep subscribe and share this video tutorial as well